All right, what's going on, people? It's Paul here again. Um, I'm, we are going to learn today how to charge a capacitor. There are several different ways to charge a capacitor. Usually, when you purchase a capacitor, it uh, either come with, with a, like a resistor. You can see that to let the resistance slowly charge the capacitor up to full volume, or they'll have like a little tiny uh, light bulb, which does pretty much the same thing, and it kind of gives you a hot um, uh, a light to kind of go by. Uh, the only thing about those is these get and the bulb gets really hot so you may burn yourself trying to do that so to show you a more safer way to do that we are going to use a test light so and you, you're asking me why should I charge my capacitor why can I just put the power wire on it and start playing well capacitors can be really dangerous and uh, what they do is they can uh, charge and discharge at such a high current rate that you can actually weld things when you're discharging but of course it's almost instantaneously and it could be dangerous um, to hook it straight up and also it may, it may you know, blow fuses and stuff as well because it's going to pull so much current at once to charge up um, also it, uh, the, I don't have uh, visuals for that but um, inside the capacitor is basically uh, imagine a sheet of aluminum foil with a a sheet of paper that's really thin coated in some sort of uh, insulation insulating goo and another sheet of aluminum foil rolled up into a cylinder basically that's what a capacitor is there's a positive plate and a negative plate and the new uh, electrons and, and everything build up inside the capacitor just waiting to be let loose so anyway I'm going to show you how to safely and with about four dollars at Harbor Freight unless it's on sale you safely charge up your capacitor and to let you know it's not charged up right now I have my my voltmeter set on 20 volts and I got my positive negative lead this is positive this is negative on this particular capacitor so you might want to look on your capacitor they're usually marked on the top of the uh, casing and uh, and to show you there's no voltage in fact I'll uh, show you here this is what I'm going to be the power supply I'm going to be using uh, it's putting out 12 volts if you can see that I got a, my microphone bar is right in front of the words the letters so anyway um, that's showing you that I'm going to be putting out voltage here make sure those aren't shorting out and I'm going to touch these two to the top two top terminals as you can see there is no voltage so when you first buy a capacitor it's completely discharged from the factory so um, they urge you to charge it before you install it. but uh, you can go ahead and install it and hook up the ground um, wherever you want to put it at but don't hook the power wire to it until after it's charged so now and to charge it using a test light I'll put my test leads down what you do is ground one side but like I said you go ahead and hook up the ground to ground and then you take the the alligator clip side of the of, the, of your test light and hook it to the, to the red just like that and now I have um, extended you know the power to here then then what you do is I get my wire out of the way is you touch it to the positive okay I had to kind of lower the thing because my test lights lead was a little bit longer and I turned out uh, one of my lights here to kind of get them give you more visual so anyway what you do is you take the positive hook it to the alligator clip of the end or the normally the ground of your test light then you take your test light and uh, this is the positive here this is the negative here negative positive and just hold it and you can see it see the lights coming on see how I got off right there so just hold it until that light goes off and if it's a safe way you won't get burnt um, it may take a little bit because I, I don't have a very very strong um, uh, power supply but it'll do the job so it might take a little bit longer than normally with the then with a the battery uh, but you see, I got there. Got 10.3 volts. The uh, the display came on. 
and uh, it's not really fully charged because, like I said, I'm, I'm running off a little tiny uh, five amp power, twelve amp power supply, so it may take a, you know an actual little while for it to do it. But normally, uh, this would already been charged already. See, eleven point four, eleven point five, slowly going up, and to confirm it, uh, I'm going to hook up the, the test leads for my meter. 11.9, 11.92, 11 11.7. 11 oh, excuse me, really close. Sorry about that. So, 11.8. The light has gone out, so it's considered to be fully charged. And 11.9, and when it comes to 12, I'll stop, and then we'll measure the uh, voltage. That's probably what's going to max out. Like I said, I'm running off a little power, uh, AC power supply. Anyway, uh, that's the voltage. Uh, it will kind of, it doesn't hold its charge all the time. Uh, like I said, you know, I uh, was, don't have an actual battery. So it will discharge, the capacitor will, will not hold its charge for forever. It will go down. Like I said, since I didn't have a you know, strong enough power to, to charge it up, it, uh, it, it's already discharged. Anyway, that's how you safely charge a battery. If you need to discharge it, uh, in case you need to move it or somewhere, so that way it won't actually short out. Uh, if it was still charged up, you take the, the your same test light, hook the negative of the test light to there, and then hook the light to it, and when the light goes out again, it's fully discharged. And it's going out pretty quick, so I'm, I'm actually discharging the capacitor using the same test light I used to charge it. I'm just using the light bulb inside the test light to act as a resistor against the terminal. So it is now basically safely discharged. And now to double check that with the meter. Just like this so my other leads won't short out. Now I got the positive, negative, and it's showing 0.2 volts on the meter. So basically safe to discharge so if you did happen to hook some metal between here and here at, at point two it won't do hardly diddly so anyway uh this is how you charge and discharge a capacitor if you have any questions down below just hit the comment section hit thumbs up uh this is paul i appreciate y'all watching you have an awesome day and please subscribe